you're here for uh, for Comic Con. I, I imagine you've done events like this before. Yeah, I've been to a few Comic Cons now. It's it's been in the past couple of years that uh, that's given rise to this whole subculture mm. of cons. I really enjoy them. Um, on 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 a certain level, I enjoy meeting fans and <laughs> answering their questions and being reminded of you know things in my career that maybe I'd forgotten even after all this time. But on, a, on another level, I really enjoy the products that you can find at a con that you can't find anywhere else. I mean, Japanese anime, mm. trippy wigs, and <laughs> Halloween costumes, and masks, and gauntlets, and swords, and you know, not to mention the comic books and, and, and animation that you find there. But uh, really, really fun stuff. Have you walked away with much uh, paraphernalia after them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Usually I'll say, okay, okay, I'm going to go take a break, and then I go scuttle down the sides and see if there's stuff to buy. Something for my child, something for myself. I've gotten more than a few Halloween costumes at some of these cons. Um, but uh, I, I always thought, oh, maybe I should get a, a, a disguise so I could put it on and I could shop without... Um, Without getting, you know, getting sort of bombarded at the at the booth, but uh, you know, usually we only have ten minutes off in between signings and stuff, so I'll just eat something, you know, go to the restroom, go shopping for ten minutes, and come back. What do people ask you? What's the most common question you get asked at these sorts of events? Um, how is it like working with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Um, is he a good dancer? Uh, <laughs> how was it working with Mike Myers and Dana Carvey? And are they funny like that all the time? Um, you know, how did I get started in show business? Um, were my parents in show business? Stuff like that. So it's Wayne's World and True Lies. That's kind of the one that has resonated with people the most. Yeah. Wayne's World, True Lies, and Relic Hunter, because mm. uh, a lot of young women have actually come up to me at these cons and said, you know, when you came up on that show, I, there was nobody that looked like me on TV, and so it was mm. really cool to have you as a you know a hero of mine on TV that looked kind of like me. You know. So, what does that What does that mean to you? To have it was. It's. It's. It, first of all, then I feel really old. But then after that, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I just. It's amazing to me. I mean, I've had more than a couple of young girls, uh, you know, half Asian or exotic looking, say, you know, I I watched that show and it made me want to become a geologist or an uh, you know an archaeologist, and they actually did. They went to school for ancient history and wow. and became archaeologists. That was like up in. Uh, Calgary and up there in Canada so fantastic mm -hmm. what are you working on at the moment I just did a film with Terry Polo um, and I did some dialogue replacement on it looping for it um, last week so it should be coming out soon it's called Final Recourse and uh, still doing my music performing with my music um, but uh, I don't know if you knew that I had switched over to doing Hawaiian music. Mm. So Grammy uh, winner for it. Yeah, as well. congratulations. Two, two Grammys, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, it's really, really awesome because they're just little records mm. with uh, a childhood friend, Daniel Ho, that I've known since I was 14 years old, and we performed together, you know, back then, and just did these records just because we liked working with each other and loved making making sound in the studio together. Um, so, uh, it's great, uh, it's icing on the cake to be, to be recognized for that. So now I'm, I'm moving on to doing an English language, exotic feel, kind of jazzy record. That's, that's what I'm uh, working on now. Fantastic. Yeah. So. so when do we get to hear that? Um, well, since I have a seven-year-old daughter, everything goes a little slower, you know? <laughs> She's my priority, but uh, I'm, I'm having a great time with it. Uh, you know, I don't know if I want to release it by Christmas time or start it in the new year just because, but um, who knows, you know? It's whenever it comes out.